Tetra, la Malisora, Nina Tabate, Kingaroto, Kitchikiris. So it is uh, important that uh, carrying through this uh, supplication prayer to the Chas Lama in this way. The Jandu Toronto, Samoton, Chisho Lecatina, Kakortu, Tendesia, Yabodus. So then uh, every time that uh, uh, thinking in thinking in accordance with the Dharma and try to turn your mind towards the Dharma, uh, it is uh, just uh, very good. Tattoo. Sendilena de Atovati, Tetra Majuna, the coalition to Chamber of Maguati, yet Sonja go to be cheddar, the other me but some of two on the terrible. So uh, it is because that uh, this life, uh, somehow, whatever they finance, uh, however, it can be worked out. But uh, more important is that uh, relating with this practice. Uh, through which that in this lifetime also just uh, more happier and uh, then ultimately that one could to just attain enlightenment so that one not necessarily have to wander in these six realms every time. So all these practices, if one can just practice in accordance or properly, and then each and every single practices has a complete path to liberation. So whether one could really just uh, uh, liberate or not, or follow that kind of path or not, it is uh, completely depend upon oneself. Mambo di chi, o tendesse a noi a voi, e non carena né chile per lo sono a chi si So, even one know lots of you know, Dharma uh, educating oneself, also good, but uh, or even one just concentrate on one uh, single practice and then uh, carry through uh, it, uh, that way it become more stable. And, uh, to the Chamos and the Vasil Soratale Manicharan and the Do on Tandubis. For example, like a just a supplicating prayer to do uh, great compassion at all of Ishora, and then you know, cons constantly accumulating Omani Pimihu through that also one can just you know, accomplish. Do this and Manaji Gum Yijat Mizetinda, so I sit it down to now the Nogiris. And similar like that, even one just visualize uh, and meditate on Bajar Sattva Buddha, and then again just accumulate the number, uh, mantra, it is also the same. Taking a bomb and I did I'm a dear, Nali Sarataduna, taking a Nibati Morris. And also like a uh, supplicating to Amitabha Buddha and then uh, chanting uh, Om Amin Devari and that uh, also one can have the same result. And then uh, also practicing on like a uh, Tekju and Tegel, uh, just uh, based on this path, you know, independently one can just uh, liberate. So one time that day in Tibet, uh, the previous Tuan uh, uh, in um, Kham, there is a place called uh, Rachap. Then there were two monks. Uh, they are not uh, very uh, intelligent, a little bit kind of, you know, silly or dull. So then they asked uh, Rinpoche that uh, 
uh, what we can do the you know kind of best practice and then uh, that Tuvaramuche uh, said to one monk that uh, there is uh, the uh, that uh, liberation through touch that uh, um, from the 180 practice uh, there were about you know 10 pages and asked him just you just only chant this prayer and then to another monk uh, told that uh, you just only accumulate a uh, hundred syllable mantra. And uh, from that onward, they just uh, uh, constantly carry through that, you know, that practice and they uh, did subjugation and continued with that. And these uh, two monks uh, passed away when I was uh, very young. And uh, that monk who was chanting the total that uh, liberation through, you know, touch, that uh, uh, when just he died, and then uh, he sit into like a meditation, and there are rainbows, you know, just everything was fine. And then the other one who was chanting that hundred syllable mantra that uh, when uh, cremated, and then of course there are the rainbows, but uh, that uh, there is a relic about uh, like a uh, one kg. So they uh, don't know much uh, any other just chantings and prayers and other practices, but uh, then uh, just whatever the Lama told to do, and then, you know, subjugating to Lama and carry through this practice, so one could have that result. So if oneself has that devotion, faith, and then the inclination towards the Dharma, then in the Tsogchen there is about 6,400,000 those verses, each and every individual is a complete path that can just, you know, liberate. And then if we have doubts, then, you know, any time that there is, a no, there is no way that can accomplish anything. So that is why I'm telling uh, every time, just over and over, uh, not to have those, you know, doubts or hesitation and uh, have determination and then uh, continue to practice. So with this thinking, with this Dharma can uh, benefit or not or accomplish or not, uh, there is no any uh, benefit. These all, you know, Dharma teachings and uh, practices are uh, and that uh, taught by all these uh, realized uh, beings that uh, how they, you know, went through the process of the practice and then have realization and uh, have uh, the complete uh, sign. And uh, uh, other than that, it is not like a, you know, just somebody merely composite. 
non ti sono le cellule, stanno cotton e abbondo di taroni, non ti sono le cellule. So, uh, although you all are just, uh, you know, the way of uh, doing practice, thinking, it is just uh, good, but still, just have to do still more better. Every time uh, that uh, to just uh, uh, develop and to become better and better, it is just uh, important, not becoming worse and worse. <laughs> So when any kind of like a afflicted mind arises or like anger and then if you just uh, follow in that way and then that uh, just uh, uh, one does not have the real path. So there is a, no, the Dharma does not become an antidote for that. So, you know, we are every morning just receiving the both of the bow. And also you can just uh, receive and practice, you know, every now and then. And uh, so, uh, for example, like, uh, you know, receiving the Bodhisattva vow, and then, you know, when somebody just says a bad word to you, and you cannot uh, just, uh, you know, just control yourself, and then, uh, you know, the receiving Bodhisattva vow does not could not become a just antidote. So at that time, one have to think and apply into practice. So whenever that uh, negative emotions or the afflicted mind, when it arises at that time, then one have to apply the, you know, just antidote. Otherwise, just, you know, just normally you are just saying, oh, I will not uh, let it just, uh, you know, follow the command of, you know, afflicted mind and just, you know, just sitting there, uh, not necessarily it can benefit. Mm -hmm. Uh, even in the ancient time that uh, some lamas who do retreat uh, in the forest, then they also sometimes have a, like a monkey as a pet, uh, pet animal. Uh, because, you know, just monkey is always very funny and then kind of creates lots of, you know, just uh, action and that uh, somehow it uh, sometimes makes you un angry. So that way just a uh, lama can, you know, just practice on patience, just uh, having all those. <laughs> monkeys because <laughs> because all these afflicted minds are just you know, very strong and arising at any moment <laughs> so that uh, whenever that uh, the affliction the negative emotion or that passion when it arises at that moment one have to just apply the antidote Otherwise, it is uh, not that much useful. So, when we do the practice, uh, when that object uh, somehow uh, 
uh, become a condition to give rise to all these uh, afflictions, then instead of becoming angry, you should have that uh, sense of loving and also just uh, know that is the object of support of your practice. In this way, one have to understand. And in that way, when you just you know, try to work, and uh, if that antidote works, then uh, you are just uh, you are following the Dharma practice. And when somebody makes you angry, and then you also become just very angry, and then uh, that uh, knowing the Dharma, there is no much benefit. So, of course, you know, in the beginning, give rise to anger and uh, so forth. But if one apply with the mindfulness and then uh, conscientiousness and then uh, just watching one's, you know, self, then uh, that is a way, you know, just slowly one get trained in, that, in this way. So even then, uh, sometimes one give rise to anger or so uh, other uh, afflictions, then immediately do confess and that they think, oh, I just uh, could not control my anger, you know, confess and then try to purify. And also, just think from uh, this onward, I will never do like that and make a commitment. And in this way, if you try to work and they think, then you know, slowly, slowly, you can just really do it. And when somebody harms to you, then as a you know practitioner, that it is just uh, usually really beneficial uh, to really you know continue one's practice and uh, you know carry through that uh, you know just uh, antidote. Uh, it will just really help. You know, it does not really harm at all. For, for example, some people just, you know, say that, oh, just, I'm just doing my best with the, you know, bodhicitta and bodhisattva practice. But still, sometimes, you know, this guy, you know, just uh, took uh, so much money from me and now never just, you know, return back and I'm become so angry, you know, just, uh, I feel very, you know, just uh, uh, difficult in that way, just uh, some people just express. Calling us to choose to come to some other cigarettes. And then up sometimes they say, there, there is no way I can just generate bodhicitta to this guy. This is also the Dhamma Nyan service. And that way then, uh, one self is uh, just uh, breaking the bodhisattva vow. So the actual practice is however a person just, uh, you know, be mean and uh, harm you, still, you know, just uh, one have to generate, you know, loving kindness and then, you know, continue. Even you cannot just help this lifetime, but still, you know, in many other lifetimes that you can be, you know, beneficial in that way. Lama, she would say to them, but they don't, uh, those of the Lama, however, just, you know, the uh, very highly realized or good Lamas, that uh, whether it is Dharma or whether, you know, any other thing, it is uh, important to have that kind of connection. 
So even one could not have a you know kind of more positive relationship with the Lama uh, than a uh, worse to worse. Even one just uh, you know have a just a you know kind of a negative uh, relationship uh, also just still good. The Lama. So, you know, creating any kind of negative karma relating with the Lama that uh, just uh, this lifetime, based on that, you know, karma action, one may just uh, wander in the, you know, just samsara, but still, you know, that uh, uh, with that uh, relationship, Lama just, you know, still, you know, just uh, take care of it. Lama Yabot and Dreva Race and Lama take a digital Pento Vajere Mato, Nekabda, the Ron Lengesa Padre Mato Tatu, Deva Togres. So that uh, uh, having good uh, or bad uh, relationship with the Lama, that uh, even, you know, this lifetime, uh, creating negative uh, action uh, that maybe just uh, have to bear the you know result, but uh, ultimately still that one can receive some benefit from the lama because of that uh, you know bodhi uh, bodhicitta of the you know the lama. Uh, it says there is a saying that. Um, the uh, positive relationship is like a uh, that uh, one could liberate from the you know uh, one could attain enlightenment, and uh, having a negative relationship that which is uh, which is the the endless wandering in samsara. <laughs> So all those sentient beings who never met with this, you know, dharma, uh, in that way, just uh, uh, that uh, they wander in the samsara like a limitless lifetime. And those who have uh, relationship with the uh, Dharma, then uh, there is an end for their, you know, samsara. So that is why that uh, yes, as an individual, you know, being, there is an end of the samsara, uh, but in general, maybe there is no end of the samsara. So, uh, just uh, without any exception, you know, that uh, in samsara and uh, attain enlightenment, uh, maybe it is difficult. But each and every individual, you know, when one just get it through all this Dhamma practice, you know, doing practice properly, then one attains, you know, enlightenment. That way there is the individual end of the samsara. So then even yesterday, Tungse Tilenu Brahmache came and then he also gave uh, all these uh, teachings. And Tungse uh, Brahmache, uh, he is really happy with you guys. And uh, uh, not uh, same like any other Americans that are uh, here. Uh, they all are just kind of like a very tamed and a very uh, just humble. And uh, we are also thinking you guys are be pretty good. And then Tungsen uh, also said that uh, just uh, you all are doing very good, so he was also happy. 
So even if you examine those who are not uh, have any relationship or connection with the dharmas, then their way of talking and coming and the act is, of course, you know, something different. Uh, of course, they have uh, so great, you know, ego. <laughs> So uh, you all that uh, somehow we explain uh, every time just, you know, give teaching and then uh, you are also working. So in that way, it uh, seems like you are good. So uh, there is an example like uh, the ego or the pride which is like a ball of iron that there is no way anything that can be just content on it, any kind of inequality. So that, you know, the iron ball that even you just uh, threw into water that uh, uh, there is no way it can contain any water there. So the pride or the ego, as the as you think, you know, I'm great, I'm good to a scholar, and uh, just uh, you know, the good practitioner. Then, because of that pride or the ego, it's difficult to really receive any more, you know, just uh, uh, qualities or education. And then even just uh, explain about the history of Dharma, uh, then uh, one may just uh, increase one's uh, ego or become more angry. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. You guys are very good. <laughs> <laughs> So now, no, today, there for the Zalung students and then the first year Dzogchen have a teaching, so rest you all can leave for your practice. <laughs>